Okay, we're up and running. All right. Um. Well, good morning. Well, uh, doing what I usually do, uh, browsing the um Twitch forums, and upon another, another pretty damn good, pretty damn good article. Uh, this by a guy named Haverl. I don't know how it's pronounced, but based this one, but uh, the name of this one here, Twitch and copyrighted music. This one here, um, this one here immediately uh, perked my ears up, cause uh, I play vinyl records. I play vinyl records when I'm when I'm uh, streaming Path of Exile. Um, I I didn't I didn't read all of this, but uh, generally the position the position is very draconian. If you use any kind of music in your streams. Uh, you automatically require a license, or kind of like the way YouTube works. If YouTube recognizes any, if YouTube recognizes any kind of music that's uh, copyrighted, your video gets flagged. Um, but um, but what, let me let me quickly explain the way this works. Um, on Twitch, the way it works now, if um the Twitch detection engine or whatever they call it, if it detects uh. A song that you're using that is copyrighted, it will mute that particular that particular song, which uh, it happens fairly often on my streams. Um, usually, uh, uh, Twitch will recognize a song or a series of songs, or hell, sometimes even half an album, as uh, being copyrighted and will mute it. Um, but in it, on YouTube, I think what uh, what it does on there is it uh. It, it pretty much flags your entire video for a copyright, and then um, ads get placed on it. Like uh, I've seen uh, I mean I've I've seen uh, the common the common 15 slash 30 second ad at the start. Um, I've also seen some videos do it, uh, like a 30 second ad every five ten minutes or something. So because of that, I don't stream on YouTube. So. I'm I'm sounding like I'm kind of rambling on this, but this was something that I I saw and I figured I gotta comment on the sucker immediately. So, uh, let's see where, all right, where was I? Oh, basically, did. Hey, I'm trying to I'm trying to put it all together. But but anyway, that's how uh, that's how Twitch works. Which is why I'm I'm streaming on Twitch and not YouTube. YouTube would just flag my entire video and just put a whole bunch of ads all over it. Whereas Twitch, they tend to be more judicious and smart about their about their mutings. Only the offending piece of music is muted, and not the whole not the whole entire video. So, but uh, whoop! Let me back that up. Let me back that up. Kicked in. All right. Um, I'll see if I can find the um, the crux of this whole article. I really, you pretty much would have to read the entire article. But like I said at the at the start of at the start of this video, their um their stance was for if you use any kind of music at all, it's you have to have a life you have to have permission to use it. Um, but uh, which my response to this, I'm not saying I'm a special snowflake. I'm not trying to make excuses, not trying to rationalize or anything. But uh, um, but one reason why. Or one reason why I shouldn't be uh I shouldn't be hit with a hammer on this is one. All of my stuff is vinyl. Okay. Uh, this is why this is vinyl that I have already paid for. Now, to be fair, some of these uh some of these records I got at thrift stores. I probably paid. 25 cents, 50 cents, uh, $1.49. 
I think I paid five dollars for some of these records. So I've already spent my money on them, on these. Um. Uh, secondly, theoretically, yeah, they could probably. I mean, that aside, they could probably come after me anyway. But the thing of it is, um. It's like you're. It's like you're trying to sue somebody who works at McDonald's. You know, probably makes minimum wage. You're spending more lo money on hiring the lawyer to sue the guy than you are get, get actually getting any money out of him. I mean, he ain't making daily squat for cash. Okay, now, the Twitch equivalent of this is, uh, I'm a small streamer. I think, um, if you look at my uh, stream stats, um, I think my max, my max viewers is like 0. 0.70. 0. 0.70, like, I'm basically playing to nobody. So, I think coming after me would be a wait it's just a waste of effort. And then the previously stated reason I mean, I'm not I'm you know, I paid for all my records. I mean I didn't I didn't steal them or anything like that, whereas I think um they really should be coming after going after the whoever it was that was whatever streamers is you if anybody using free music or just you know just going straight on you going straight on YouTube and hey here's the video for Rihanna's latest video and then playing the audio on their stream or something like that that what I that I would understand them going after those streamers for like if you're going after their latest you know the latest stuff if they're not paying anything you know you kind of get the idea but what I'll go ahead and do because I'm basically I pretty much said my piece um, what I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna go down the thread and just comment on everybody else's posts. Uh, like I said before, I'm not, I'm not calling anybody out, not putting anybody down, not trying to expose or embarrass anybody, but I could, maybe I'll get some more inspiration on this topic by reading other people's posts. But, oh, here goes. I don't know what uh I don't know what IP stands for. Mostly music by the media as well. There seems to be a common misunderstanding that because it is possible potential liability again. Uh once again, um I paid for all my vinyl. Some of it I bought online, some of it I bought at a thrift store. Uh, I've got about two banana boxes uh, full of full of records that I probably paid close to a thousand dollars for. I, I mean, I don't want to spend. I didn't spend all that money going through all that trouble getting all them records just to be told that I can't play them on Twitch now. You know, so again, again, I'm not, I'm not stealing. I'm not stealing the artist's work. I am paying for it. So it's really not fair for me to, for them to. Bring the hammer, bring the hammer down on me when I'm, when I'm actually, you know, sorry to sound like a broken record, but that, I am, I have paid for my vinyl. The idea they're recording. Um. The general gist I'm getting out of murder bits is um, probably the second thing I said. Um, I'm a I'm a very small streamer. I again you're. I mean it's like it's like you're it's like you're trying to sue the guy who works at a car wash. He's only making a minimum wage. I mean you're basically trying to extract blood from a stone. So yeah, I think if they try to bring their hammer down on me, they'd be laughing stocks. I mean, as I said before, for the. Um, statistically, uh, I think my, uh, my max amount of viewers, considering the amount of hours I put in streaming, is like 0.75. I'm, I'm basically playing to an empty room. Or, or best case scenario, I'm basically playing to chirping crickets. So, it's a waste of effort coming after me. You have to take a Netflix style solution to bitch complain that kids. Uh, 
I could kind of see this. I think uh, for the kind of music I play, 20 months is way too much. Uh, I could probably, uh, let me see if I can pull something up real quick. I could see doing, I could see doing this $20 a month for something like uh, some artist, I can't, can't think of a name, but you know, their latest album that, that had just come out, you know, I could see paying $20 a month for something brand spanking new that just came out. I could see that, but on the other hand, Stan Getz with uh, Lorendo Alameda. You might have heard of Stan Getz, but have you ever heard of Lorendo Alameda? I haven't. So, I mean, I, I mean, I ain't got to pay, I mean, $20 a month is too expensive for that. And this isn't a unique album, too. I've got a lot of obscure albums that are like this. Secondly, massive artist, artist catalog. Again, I seriously doubt they're going to have an album like this. I mean, to me, massive ain't that massive. Um, and I just, just stated this as well. I'm probably the only person in existence that plays that record. Here, let me out. Let me put this back. Yep. Like in this. Yup, he said exactly what I was saying. You're, you know, you're 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 bringing the hammer down on some guy who makes a living cleaning bedpans at an assisted living senior living apartment complex. You know, he probably makes a minimum wage. It's, it's a waste of effort. I mean. Going back to this, I mean, yeah, you know, I, I'd actually pay something monthly for um, Twitch to just stop muting my, to stop muting my uh, music. I mean, I, I don't. I think uh, five, maybe ten bucks a month would be fair, considering the kind of music that I play that's just totally obscure that no one gives two shits about. I mean, again, I'm not. I mean, I'm not. I'm not playing Taylor Swift's latest concert album. I might. On my stream. No, I'm... I'm playing stuff like this. Meet the residents. You know? Obscure stuff that nobody's ever heard of. Or at least nobody in the general Twitch community. You know, I'm... I'm sure there's probably some... Some pocket of existence out there. They... They probably... They're probably residents fans or something. You know, I'd, I'd probably pay five, ten dollars a month for them to, you know, mute free music. You know, but I mean, twenty dollars a month for me is too expensive, considering the kind of music I play. I mean, I understand they want to have, you know, they, it's really a lot, way too much trouble to sit there and have like a sliding scale, for lack of a better phrase, of uh, prices for music. You know, if you're going to play nothing but new stuff, yeah, twenty dollars a month, but if you're if you're like me, you're playing I mean, unheard of stuff, you know, five bucks a month. But getting back to this, set up a public relations nightmare by chasing after a bunch of kids streaming from their bedrooms with music in the background. This is something else, too. In the background, because uh, that's pretty much how I have to play my music. Uh, for those that have watched me stream, uh, when I play, when I stream Path of Exile, kind of a little side note: the only time I play third-party music is when I stream that game. Uh, I also stream a game called Pinball Arcade. 
uh, Tuesday mornings and Wednesday mornings. But sometimes I stream other games too. I never play vinyl records on those. I only play records on Path of Exile. That's it. And even then, if, for those that have watched me stream, I don't start my music until I start my dailies, until I actually start getting into combat with all the with all the noise, you know, the no, all the uh, combat noise used to cover up, cover up the music. So, um, part of it is to, as ruthless as it might sound, to kind of sneak fa sneak past the mute filter, because I like to post my stream vids on my blog to give people a, to give the give anybody a chance who, you know, didn't couldn't catch my stream a chance to watch it. You know, but I'm sure they wouldn't like it if half my video got muted because of copyright, so... And... At best, you end up with a bunch of silent streams. Yeah, or in my case... In my case, I'd probably just end up... it probably subject to change, but I'd probably end up quitting Path of Exile. Because I gotta have... I gotta have music going for that game. But at the same time... I don't want the modern shit. None of that auto-tune pop music. I, I don't care for it. You know, it's it's all this old, ancient, obscure stuff. Um, and on one end, I agree with that, too. But again, I, I'm sorry to repeat myself, but like like I said earlier, I'm not I'm not trying to say I'm a snow. I'm a special snowflake, or, you know, or, or I'm not making up excuses here. I'm trying to explain the truth. Again, I would have, I would have actually agree if somebody, if somebody got a hold of Rihanna's latest album and is playing it on their stream, and but not, not paying her anything for it, I'd understand. I mean, you know, I'm at, you know, I'm, I, it, it's it, it's probably a drama for another day. There's a whole bunch of uh, or you could you could read that uh, that lawyer Twitch article that I oh, or you could read this Forbes article here that. Wrong one. There we go. I don't, I don't do the window switch on my browser very often, so I haven't got quite the hotkeys down on it. How long have I been doing that? Okay, 18 minutes, so. The hammer will fall on this eventually, guaranteed. That wouldn't, that wouldn't surprise me, wouldn't surprise me a bit. Just kind of stating my case here. Again, it goes back to the second thing I said. I'm not a, I'm not a Twitch affiliate. Um, my stream is, my stream is basically non-profit. I'm not looking to make money off this. It's, it's mainly a therapy on my part, and um, as well as for anybody else who wants to come by and visit. So, I don't, I'm not in this to make, I'm not in this to make money. And again, and if they were to come after me. They look like you know, they look like idiots. I mean, look like some real sleaze balls. I mean, again, I think my uh, but, but I basically I'll just say I'm a super small streamer. I'll just leave it at that. So far as to send people out to record the use of music. Bars and restaurants to get settlements to sell licensing for decades. Um, I've never heard of that particular thing happening, but it again, that don't surprise me. They're always looking for different ways of making a buck. And again, 
again. No surprises there. I don't know what an eye anal is. If you aren't making any money off your stream, cover my fair use. Uh, last I heard on fair use, it's very nebulous. I mean, I guess this is probably this is probably what I was trying to say at the start of the stream. I will consider it fair use again. Again, I have already paid for my vinyl. None of my vinyl I got for free. So, so I would say I'm covered under that. I mean, and uh, in case anyone asks, I have receipts. I have. I keep. I, I even keep all my cardboard boxes that the stuff gets shipped to me in, and I keep. I try to keep all my receipts, all my uh, invoices and whatnot. So. I, I, could, I could probably, I have the proof, but it's going to be a matter of me trying to dig it all up, so. It would be involved, I feel like if they don't offer legal counsel, just their, or just threw their content creators under the bus, wouldn't surprise me, that wouldn't surprise me either. Okay, he said the same thing too. But yeah, I last I read on fair use, it it's almost it's it's it, it's it's ambiguous. It, you could probably twist it to your own evil ends, I imagine. Save Harbor Bridge. I don't know what DMCA is. Provisions of the DMCA that protect service providers long to meet certain requirements. Which recent. Very used a lot more complicated. Uh, Fruit Bat said the same thing. It's Okay, um, I don't, this is some pretty long involving stuff right here, so I don't, I probably, this is probably some, I'll just skip it, I'll read it later. You aren't supposed to play copyright music and they mute VODs again, but then again, this is also one of the reasons why I stream on Twitch and not YouTube, because YouTube will flag your entire video. And then just post ads all over it. Twitch doesn't. Twitch will only mute that particular offending piece. They won't mute your entire video or anything like that. Uh, hell, I think uh, I've heard stories of YouTube. They'll even shut down your stream. Like if you're if you're playing copyrighted music, they'll just shut it down. Pew! Twitch won't. So. So I think um, now that I think about it, if they were ever to be real behemoth about chasing down these offenders that are playing their copyrighted music and go to go the YouTube route and just start pasting ads on the on the vids. I could I know I I know I'd probably I'd definitely leave Twitch. I think a lot of other people would also leave Twitch too. You could probably kill the play you could probably kill a you could probably kill the whole website if they were to if they were to do this. Okay, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it good. Uh, and I'll probably, um, I'm probably gonna have to jump in the. Sh I'm gonna have to shower and shave here. I have to work, or yeah, I have to work tonight, so I gotta lay down here in a little bit. Plus, um, uh, I still gotta pre-write my stuff for uh, 
my Path of Exile session tonight. It'll be uh, between 6, 6 to 6.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time. So I got to make preps for that. But this is just uh, but this is just something I wanted to read. Wanted to read and wanted to get documented on video. So, uh, but aside from that, well, thanks for watching. And take care and see you next time.